And students in Nigeria tertiary institutions can now heave a sigh of relief as the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces presented by the um, president Bola Ahmed Tinubu finally assented into law the Nigerian Students Loan Act yesterday, 3rd of April 2024. For students of the poor and underprivileged, the initial bottleneck in the act, which requested at least 500,000 naira to be provided by parents to enable them access the loan on behalf of the children or ward has been removed. The Chairman House Committee on Students' Loan Scholarship and Higher Education Financing, Honorable Boyega Ishiaka, made this known to journalists in Abuja during a media briefing. I mean, the whole essence of this is, number one, it's about cost sharing. Number one, number two, is also to give the students the opportunity to also have a say into their future. Now, if you want to go and read engineering, and the cost of engineering is so much, and you feel that your parents cannot afford it, therefore you want to, because of that, go to business admin or go to sociology. Now you have an opportunity to go and read your, your engineering because you know that at least you'll be able to, you know, you'll, you'll be able to, um, you know, um, assess a loan that can take you out of, uh, out of, out of, out of school, uh, and also to bring some sanity into our education education system. Uh, we now have a situation where, at the end of the day, uh, both the government, the parents, and the students are all contributing towards educating a child. I mean, who will now be given an opportunity to start repayment up to a maximum of 10% of his gross income, uh, which is, that is what is in the law, um, when he even starts even start working. I think that is, just, uh, that is just the summary I can give. He also listed grounds for penalties, stating that students could be disqualified from accessing the loan if found wanting in examination, malpractice or cultism. Also, a provision there, a provision for disqualification. You can be disqualified from, you know, from this loan, or even as a Nigerian. If, for instance, you are a member, it is confirmed by the authority that you are a member of a court group. If it is confirmed that you have been involved in exploitation malpractices before, it is confirmed that you have been involved in hard drugs, you know, by the authority, and so many of so many of those some of some of those kind of social vices. So it's also a way to also correct some of those things in the system. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.